we are recording. Okay, so <clears throat> as you know, I have two of these things, and I just wanted to do an addendum to the last thing that we did while I'm working on this. I tore, stripped out the last one, and had a good time doing it, and I just wanted to say that there's an addendum to what we were talking about the other, the last time with everything just works. Everything just works better. Everything just, just, you know, you turn it on and it works. It's compatible with everything else. You don't have to worry about things. They're, they're generally reliable. The crappy stuff is even pretty good. All that said, there's something that has been lost in the last 20 years. I mean, it's been going away and you can see it, but, and that's, 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 I don't know how to describe it. Like a solidness. Yeah. You know, I was fine. I was making fun of this. It weighs 55 pounds, et cetera, et cetera. But this thing's built like a tank. These are high quality precision materials. Um, and All this stuff, all the metal pieces are thick pieces of, of aluminum and steel and everything is funneled together nicely and put together in a proper way. Um, every place that I'm pulling out screws from, from, from the, everywhere where there's screws, there's like a, like you can see right here, and on the back there's a Phillips head screwdriver right here. This, this thing here is, is like a rivet. A threaded rivet, I, I, you know, which is great, and I bet you they used to use that stuff all the time. Um, you don't see it anymore. Everything now is plastic, and everything, even though it's, you know, I was comparing to these other lights. It's, oh, it's only eleven pounds, whatever. Um, they feel pretty sturdy, and there is some metal in them and everything. You know, they're made out of have metal casings, and even the metal, though. I mean, there's a reason why we call it chinesium. We call it chinesium because. It's some kind of weird thin alloy that kind of works and resembles metal, but God, I'm not sure what it is or whatever. Now this stuff in here is steel and aluminum. It's well crafted, precision made. Now I'm actually going to have to do some research where this was manufactured because this down here says ROC, which makes sense, which means to me probably Republic of China. Um, but that also doesn't make a whole lot of sense because I thought that would have been PRC, People's Republic of China. So I'm not sure. And in 1999, I don't know if it had this trade status yet. And so therefore, I'm kind of curious about that. Now, American DJ, Elation, these companies all have their starts in, even though they're Americans are they're, they're European. There's a lot of Europeanness to this. And the Transformers have stickers. They were made in Slovakia. And I forgot what, that's the big coil was made in Slovakia. And the Transformer, had, I believe also Slovakia. So that's interesting. Um, and not Czechoslovakia. So I don't remember when that happened, but I guess it was before 1999 um, when, when they had that nice split. That was a nice little thing, you know, they got put together. Neither of them really, they were both beaten up. The Czechs and the and the Slovaks were beaten up by the Hungarian, Austro-Hungarian Empire forever, and they'd just been part of this, you know, that central European conglomerate. And they finally got a chance to get free and they got stuck together. And that's okay, I mean, the Slavs and the Czechs are pretty close. Or the Slovaks and the Czechs are pretty close, I guess. Um, and they got along okay, it wasn't like they really had too many problems. And so they're like, oh, we're having a peaceful divorce. You go over there and you come over here and we'll be friendly. And But you go be in Slovakia and we're gonna come over here and be in Czechia. And I don't know, I think it's kind of cute, actually, believe it or not. I, I don't know another way to call it, but cute. But I wonder how the cousins are doing over there. And I actually have cousins here that have um, contact with the cousins over there. So when I say that, I'm being facetious, but I'm not because we really do have family over there. So that, that part of my family keeps track of, I don't because I can barely keep track of my own family here in the States that are 
around me, so it's not right about the old country. Anyway, sorry, sorry for that digression. I wonder, I'm going to look that up because I'm wondering, did they build a bunch of this stuff in the European Union and then send it over to China? And the thing about this is it doesn't look, it looks 90s, but it doesn't feel Chinese. And maybe I'm just, see, because that's, a lot of stuff got, was still being made in other places until after them. I don't know. I don't know where this was made. I'm curious now. Um, probably China with some European parts, but I'm wondering if what PRC, P, ROC might be, it's not Romania, it's not, no, I'm curious, I'm curious now. But I just, I thought this was nice because everything, everything's got that, that threaded rivet, everything is heavy duty, everything's made out of this, like, put in place very nicely, nothing is chintzy, everything is hit properly. Oh, and I have to cut a couple of these wires because, no, I just do. Um, because you can't get them out because of the way that they are. They're meant to be whatever. So I'm cutting them in half. So they're half on each one when I get them back together. Because I think, ultimately, what I have here is a giant wiring harness. And, and the control board takes DMX signal in. All those things will... The DMX will convert DMX signal from a controller into instructions for those stepper motors. And I don't have to program anything because that all works. So theoretically, and I think this is all 12 volt once it gets past the giant arc light stuff. I think that's what's going on. Um, so theoretically, I have a DMX controlled whole bunch of stepper motors already on a board, ready to go. And I think that's mighty nice if that's the case. And I think it might be. So we're going to find out. Um, we're going to find out as we go forward. I don't know if I have time to play with that stuff or not. And this might go in a box for five years, but hopefully we get an idea of what's going on. But I just wanted to show that and I'm going to, I'm going to do another addendum after this because, well, here, let's just do it right now. I wasn't going to, but let's look at this box. Oh. Look in the box. Oh, what's in the box? All these stepper motors, right? There's four, there's five. This one's kind of stuck on the plate still because I couldn't separate it. And this one's still stuck on the color wheel. Isn't that pretty? So, theoretically I can get a signal coming off of there and the board will, will translate my DMX signal and turn this wheel. Now, whether I have this in a moving headlight or whether I'm doing this or whether I take this off and this is doing some other bidding of mine, that's the whole point of that. Um, I kept this assembly put together. This is beautiful. This is a double XY, one unit together because this is one set of controls coming in. Or no, this is two, so it's an X and a Y, but it's on a, on a serial connector. This is, this is incredible craftsmanship. And I'm sure I'll be able to put this to use somewhere. Um, there's the lens that came out of it, out of the, one of the lenses. Here's the secondary lens rack. I'm sure it has something to do with that. Gobo wheel. And I kept all the parts and all that stuff through all that stuff. Um, and then even just like this, this is a nice just aluminum plate that I found between, stuck between the transformer and the rest of the thing. That, that, That'll come in handy. So I got these two microprocessors, and I know that when I put this away, this stuff all worked. And the only problem I was having was igniting the arc lights. I was, everything else worked at the time. Um, the, the whole, um, well, everything. So what I'm saying is it, it um, Everything was working, responding, all the motors were working and everything was happening and everything, all the mirrors were going up and down and color wheels were spinning. So all the motors work and everything works. So um, what we're talking about is definitely, um, you know, the only problem was igniting the lamp. So I don't know, I think I might have something cool here and I'm not sure what to do with it yet, but I don't know. I gotta, I gotta get some friends with like model railroad enthusiasts or something or other people that are doing stuff like this because this is starting to get into three dimensions again. But 
All right, I'm rambling a little bit. This wasn't supposed to be a full take, but I just wanted to show as I'm tearing this out, just, just, just how not, like, here, not this. I'll take this off. Look at this belt. Look at this belt. Super thick, super heavy duty. This is 20 years old. I mean, and that's, 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 that's not, it's not chintzy. It's not, not pulling apart. It's, it's solid stuff. And, 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 and that's what we're missing. And yeah, that, 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 those lights that I have are, you know, I guess that's part of what you're talking about when you're at the bottom and at the top. And this, these were probably farther up on the end and, you know, but, um, I think even, even the higher end stuff, like the guts are better, but like the casings and everything's just, they're just, everything's just, Mm. Not built like this anymore, but that's why we're not going to throw this away. That's why we're going to we're going we're to strip all this shit out and make sure that we get this taken care of properly. Um, and that's that. So, um, shout out to the Slovakians for putting together the transformer. And I don't know. I want to find out if this was them or China or wherever this got manufactured in 1999. But I'm excited for this box of parts. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but. There you go.